of a 12 year old boy. He spent 27 years in prison for a crime he didn't commit and luckily for him, the boy recanted his statement before he was able to be executed. I became interested in this topic after watching the Making of a Murder series documentary on Netflix in which both police negligence and for, uh, forensic science misconduct lead to an innocent man being convicted of a crime twice. Today, I would like to discuss with you the problems with the death penalty. I will first show you the problems, then talk about the cause, and finally the solution. The death penalty is biased and sometimes results in innocent people being sent to death. According to Amnesty International 2016, since 1973, 100 people have been released from death rows all over the, con all over the country due to evidence of their wrongful conviction. And during that exact same time period, over 1,200 people were act actually sentenced to death. The possibility of just one innocent person being killed is enough to justify abolishing this system. A system which is so unfair, even when a person is rightfully convicted, the people who actually are executed are picked almost at random. This is because while many states, including California, still sentence people to death, very few actual executions occur here. Amnesty International 2016 also points out that the majority of executions that take place take place geographically in the South. That's 82%. Now, after um, describing the problem, I would like to discuss the causes. One of the biggest causes is um, bias during investigation and misconduct from law enforcement. In the 2015 interview, a wrongfully convicted um, person said that because the victim was prominent member of society, quote, I think the sheriff just wanted quick results and wanted to put someone behind bars. Judges will also prejudicially sentence someone to death while giving other people lesser sentences like life in prison without parole. A study conducted by Yale University in 2007 revealed that African American defendants received the death penalty three times the rate of white defendants. The death penalty is also handed out due to economic disparity. Amnesty International 2016 reveals that almost all death row inmates could not afford their own attorney at trial. The same source explains that local politics, the location of the crime, plea bargaining, and pure chance all affect the process, so that making it um, a lottery of who wins and die, or who lives and dies. <coughs> so now that we know about some of the causes, what about the solution? As stated earlier, any, any one of us could be wrongly convicted of murder. And as residents of California, we could all face the maximum penalty, which is death. According to Washington Post, in 2014, another man was wrongly sentenced to death and executed. He was convicted of arson after surviving a fire that killed his three young children. There are things that you can do to pre prevent this from happening to you or anybody else. You can vote on repealing the death penalty in 2016 on California's list. <coughs> it's Proposition 62, and a yes vote is in favor of re repealing the death penalty. The death penalty would re be replaced as the maximum sentence for murder, instead with life in prison without parole. If you look at public opinion, you will notice that the majority of people do not support the death penalty. Only about one-third of the population preferred that particular method of punishment. Some people just didn't know. If you find yourself in the 39% of people who agree that we should abolish the death penalty, then please voice your opinion and vote yes on Proposition 62. If you're in that percentage of people who just don't know, hopefully this presentation today pointed out the critical flaws in the death penalty. You may have been in favor or still are in favor of the death penalty, but I urge you to keep the points discussed today in the forefront of your mind and exercise your right to vote hopefully to abolish the death penalty in California once and for all. In conclusion, you should use the information to make an informed decision and vote on the topic either way. The death penalty is unfair and wrong. It also unfortunately does not prevent people from committing murder. Today we discussed the problem with the death penalty, the causes, and the solution. I'd like to end this presentation with a quote from the book, The Confession by John Christian in 2012. Death row is a nightmare to serial killers and axe murderers. 
For an innocent man, it is a life of mental torture that the human spirit is not equipped to survive. Thank you. Andy, thanks so much. Can someone help me out? I can't read. Ethan. You have two minutes to set up, my friend. Quickly, quickly, quickly.